Jeremy is going to demonstrate how PWM and servo positioning works on an oscilloscope with the EZB V4. So, Jerry, what do you got there? You got two controls. One's a servo control and one's a PWM. So why don't we start by demonstrating a servo. So move a servo all the way to position one. He's going to move it down to position one. You're going to see on the oscilloscope here that these pulses are 20 milliseconds apart. As you can see here, that's the specification for, for a servo. Now, the, what you're seeing now is a servo in position one, which is degree one. Now, as Jeremy slides it up to say 90, you see how it jumps to that. Now he's gonna move it to 180. He's gonna slide it up to 180. There you go. So, Jerry, why don't you slide that back down to one. You'll see how he's sliding it down, okay? And you'll see how the servo goes down and the pulse goes down. But the, the period, which is how often they repeat, always stays at 20 milliseconds. Now, Jerry, slide it back up to 180 again. There you go. So that's telling the servo what position to move into based upon the width of, of each one of these chunks that has a 20 millisecond repeat. Now we're going to go into a PWM. So Jerry, turn the PWM down to off. Okay, so now you're going to see that there's no, no humps at all. Now Jerry, start to slide the PWM up, move it just to one. There you go. Now keep going. Okay, so you're at 4%, 5%. Keep going, keep going, yeah, there you go. So when he gets to 100%, that's gonna be full on, you're gonna see it. There you go, so now you have me full on. And there's on, let's take a look here. So now Jared, start backing it off again. Now start backing off down to zero again. There you go, so what you're seeing is how many volts the EZB will create with PWM. So put it up, start going up, and you're gonna see here how many how many volts it's, it's, it's detecting for me right here, which is 100, 112 millivolts. So start moving up. Oh, sorry, that's not that. No, that's not the one. Which one is it? That's not. I don't have the oscilloscope set up. Okay, it doesn't have the oscilloscope set up to show you the voltage, but what you'll see, the difference between it being a single line to a big fat line to be steady is zero volts to 3.3 .3 volts is what you're actually seeing. So it's between 3.3 .3 volts. And okay, now start scrolling down. Oh yeah, that's no, this is correct. The mean. So that's. No, it's in millivolts. It's in millivolts. So what you're seeing here is millivolts. So start scrolling up. So there's 1.5, 1.6 volts, 1.7 volts, 1.8, 2.7. 3 volts, and there's our 3.3 volts. So what you're able to do is use the PWM to create, to simulate a voltage between 0 and 3.3 volts. I think my scale is off. It's probably um, on times 10. 